Hi, second grade, it's good to be back. I need for you to gather all your supplies right now. So you're going to need your binder, everything that came with your binder. You're going to need a pencil. And today I'd like for you to have a piece of notebook paper too. So I need you to have a paper with lines. Go grab your supplies, pause the video, and then come right back. And we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a review over what you've already, or what we talked about on our last lesson. We talked about the trigraph TCH, and it says the sound CH. And our keyword is match, and it shows us how to code it here. So we underline a trigraph, and then on TCH, we mark out the T for that. Okay. Now, in your binder, I'd like for you to turn to page 146. I'm going to circle that. And I'm going to go ahead and put a check mark up at the top of this page because this page will be some homework today. So here we go. And on wrap, it's going to say wrap 24.1. So make sure you get there here real quick. And we're going to do an echo. So when I say you echo on this first line here, and let's take a look and see what we're going to be echoing or wrapping today. We're going to be doing the CH and the TCH. And it's going to come in a pattern of a vowel, consonant, consonant, consonant here. Okay. And remember that the only time that we're going to use a TCH is at the end of a one syllable word that has a short vowel sound. Okay. Now CH is going to come after um, any kind of long vowels or double vowels or a consonant. So here we go. Let's take a look. Echo after me. Pinch, conch, punch, gulch, filch. All right. Now, you're going to say and read these right here to someone. So that's your homework for the top section here. So let's go to the middle section. And let's say these words, echo, botch, dutch, patch, fetch, hitch. Good. And if you notice, the TCH will only make these five sounds. So it can say atch, etch, itch, och, utch. If you hear any of those at the end of a one-syllable word, I mean, you use TCH. Let me grab my pen. You're going to read this bottom section, all three lines to someone, and the very last section, all three lines. Now, this page is homework, so make sure that you have page 146, wrap 24.1 with a check mark on it. All right. And now, let me switch my pages, and we have done wrap. So now it's time for our ISD work, which is our instant spelling deck. And our um, procedures are going to be look and listen, echo, name, and write. So we're going to be writing all the different ways we know how to spell a certain sound. And this is where your notebook paper is going to be coming in. You're going to need to write that on lined paper. So we're going to practice this on lined paper because I want you to be making sure that you're making your, um, your letters properly. So on here, and I know we haven't done this in a while, but we're going to be doing this in cursive. So make sure that you're going to be using your cursive letters, all lowercase cursive letters today. And I'm going to do mine. I'm going to go ahead and do mine in black today, like I have a, like I have a pencil like you. Okay. So here we go. Look and listen. 
Ch, echo, ch, name and write. How do we spell ch? Okay. It is digraph ch, but there's another way. How do we write it? Trigraph tch. Don't forget to cross your T. Next, look and listen. Mm, echo, name and write. N. Good. Now, if you can't remember how to make it, but you do know the letter and how to spell it, you could have done this. So let me move my N over just a little bit. You could have done this. You could write it in print, and then after you see me make it in cursive, right beside it, write it in cursive then. Next sound, I, echo, name and write, I. And don't forget to put a dot. Look and listen, Z. Echo, name and write, Z. But that's not the only way that we spell the Z sound. Oh, look what I did. I forgot to put it in cursive. Let me write that in cursive real quick. And what's the other way that we can say Z? S, yes. Look and listen. Echo. Name and write. Let me give you a hint. We know three ways on how to spell this sound. We have the, I'm going to scoot over a little bit. We have the K. We have the C before an A, O, U, or any consonant. And then we have digraph CK. Did you remember all of those ways? Right, remember, if you could only get it in print at first, make sure you go back and write it in cursive. Next sound, <sighs> echo, name and write, H. Look and listen, E. Echo, how do we make the E sound? Do you remember how we spelled that in a couple of lessons ago? E, E is how we spell that sound so far. Okay, that's all we've learned so far. Look and listen. T, echo, name and write. T. Look and listen, P. echo, name and write, P. Did you remember how to do that one in cursive? If not, if you wrote it in print, write it in cursive now. Look and listen, mm. echo, name and write, M. Look and listen. Mm. Echo. Name and write. V. And we have another in our English words. We never end a word. So if it comes in the final position, how do we write it? V E. And remember. This has an air connector, so the E can't come down um, to the ground to be made. Look and listen. Eh. Echo. Name and write. E. Look and listen. G. Echo. Name and write. J. Don't forget to dot your J. We're making all lowercase letters. Look and listen. Mm. 
echo, name and right, digraph in G, but we have another way to say that sound or to spell that sound, and that is N before a K. It says mm. Look and listen. My tongue is going to be out on this one, so listen carefully. Mm. Echo. Name and right. Digraph. T H. But what's special about this digraph? It's voiced, so put that voice line through it. Look and listen. S echo. Name and write. S. But what's another way that we've learned how to do that? S S. Two S's can make that sound. Okay. Look and listen. Ah, oh, echo, name and right. Hang on just a second. Sorry about that. Let's redo that sound here. Somebody came to the door. I had to answer the door. So here we go. Look and listen. Ah, oh, echo, name and right. Oh, look and listen. My tongue is out of my mouth. So look and Echo, name and right, digraph TH, but this one is unvoiced, so we don't put a line through it. Look and listen, D, echo, name and right, D, look and listen, A, uh, echo, Name and right. You. Look and listen. Watch where my um, my teeth are on my lip on this one. Echo. Name and right. This one might be hard for you to remember how to do in cursive. Make it in print first if you need to. Look and listen. Ah. Echo, name and right, A, look and listen, Ooh, that's the quiet one, name and right, W, and it has one of those little air releases on it, so make sure you do that correctly, look and listen, G, echo, name and right, G. Make sure the tail of your G goes the correct way. Look and listen. B. Echo. Name and right. B. And it has one of those little air releases on it too, doesn't it? Okay. Good. We know a lot of ways to spell those sounds, don't we? Okay, so let's go on to our next page. And for this, you're going to need your sound cards. And I know this is probably going to take you a little bit of time unless you already have them set up on a tray. But take a look and see how you're going to set them up. You're going to need your nasal, your airs, and your curlers on top. Then you're going to have your lip puffer, your lip chiller your tongue tapper, your tongue chiller, you're going to have your back kicker, your um, thin stream beside it, and then you're going to have your fat puff, okay? Then you're going to have your smiling vowel picture and your open vowel, open mouth vowel picture. Get those set up, pause the video if it needs to, if you need to take a little bit of time, and then you can just turn it right back on. But we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get started now. Here are the procedures for this. We're going to look and listen, echo. If you have a mirror handy, you're going to echo in your mirror. You're going to pull down your sound cards and then as we push them back to their piles, we're going to say what type of sound that is or what the name of the card is. 
So, first sound. Er, ch. Echo. Er, ch. Okay, let's find our sound cards or echo in your mirror so you can look. Er, er. Okay, that's this one. Our tongue's doing something funny in our mouth on that one. Okay. Er, ch. Ch. It's the one that we've been studying here the last few times. Ch. Big old puff of air comes out and our lips are fat. Okay. And let's name those. Okay. That was side curler, er, and fat puff, ch. Oops, it didn't grab. Okay. Look and listen. Okay. N, p, e, echo, n, p, e. Okay. N. What sound is that? Choose over here. N. That's coming through our nose. Good. N. And then p. P. Okay. There, our lips came together and forced some air out, a puff of air. And then there's E. What's my mouth doing on this one? E. Smiling vowel. Okay, so let's push these back. That's um, middle nasal, n. We have lip puffer, p. That's unvoiced. And then we have smiling vowel, e. Okay, let's do our last one here. And it is a, m, ch. Echo. A, m, ch. Did you see my tongue was out? I'm going to do that one one more time. Ah, mm, ch. Okay, first sound. Ah. That one's wide open, isn't it? Okay, next sound was mmm. Mmm. What's my tongue doing? It's outside, isn't it? Okay, and then. that one again okay so let's replace those this was open vowel ah tongue chiller that's voiced mm. and then we have fat puff ch. good okay now let's go to our next section we're going to use those same cards only this time let's look at our procedures we have a look and listen, echo, unblend the word, pull down the sound cards, and then we're going to wait to see if we add, take away a sound, trade for a sound, or switch. Okay. Our first word is bat, echo, bat. Let's unblend that. B, a. Come over here and get our sound cards. B, b. What are our lips doing? B. Okay, they went together, didn't they? B. A. Still a smiling vowel. T. T. That's a tongue tapper there. Okay. So bat. If this is bat, b. A. Show me batch. Echo. Batch. Unblend. B. A. Ch. Oh, where did we hear a difference here? B. A. Ch. Where was that difference? It's in the final position, wasn't it? So, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to make a trade, aren't I? So, I'm going to trade. My tongue tapper for a fat puff. Ch. Good. Okay. So if this is batch, b, a, ch, show me catch. Echo, catch. Unblend, k, a, ch. Where was the difference? K, 
a ch. Where did we hear the difference on this one? Initial position. This was a b and we need a t. So let's put up our lip puffer and we need a k. What sound? Which picture is a k? That's a back kicker. So final one here. If this is catch k a ch show me can echo can unblend k a n let's compare that k a n where did the difference happen in this one did you hear what I heard it's the final position we need k a n that's not the n sound is it so let's put that fat puff up. What says mmm? A middle nasal, right? So this is can. All right. What kind of things did we do today? Did we do an add? We didn't. Did we do a subtract? No. Every time we just had three sounds, didn't we? Did we get to do a switch? No. The only thing that we did was a trade. All right. Well, we're to the end of our video lesson for this week, and this week was May 4th through the 8th. I am so glad you guys came to visit me today, and I hope you'll have a great rest of your week. But until I can talk to you again next time on our next video, bye-bye for now.